From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News This Morning. Still ahead, giving back how the Travelers Championship is helping a special organization right here in Connecticut. We'll tell you about it next. All right, the Travelers Championship, it's down to business for the pros today. The first round of the tournament kicks off this morning. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kim Lucy is live with the early warning weather tracker. She's in the fan zone to tell us what's ahead today. Hi, Kim. That's right. The first group tees off in less than half an hour, Eric, with the first round of the Travelers Championship. More than 150 golfers vying for that $6.6 .6 million prize. It looks like it's going to be a foggy start for those first golfers heading out there. But, of course, amongst all of this, all that golf going on, all these activities, a lot of this is going to a good cause. And here to talk to us from the Hospital for Special Care, we have Lynn joining us this morning. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. First of all, tell us about the Hospital for Special Care. Sure. The Hospital for Special Care um, is primarily uh, located in New Britain, but we serve um, the surrounding areas of Connecticut and beyond. And um, the primary focus, of course, today is talking about our ALS program and the research and the care that we provide patients uh, living with ALS. Now, tell us a little bit about your special connection with the Travelers Championship. Sure. So, um, Travelers, we are the primary beneficiary of um, the charity dollars this year, which we are extraordinarily grateful for. Um, actually, Jay came out to the hospital and met with the team there, uh, the chief of neurology there and the Department of Neuromuscular Disease and was really impressed by the work that we do. And of course, he's trying to reach out to the ALS community and not only from an advocacy perspective and raising awareness, but also from providing care and looking at research for this disease. And as part of that, you guys are really making an effort to be able for ALS patients to be here at the championship and see what everybody sees here. Tell us about how that works. Yes. Really um, extraordinary. We have every day this week, we have between 10 and 15, and actually over the weekend, 20 patients and their families coming out um, to enjoy golf. Obviously, that, that would not be something they, they could have done without all of the accommodations that Travelers has provided us. And that was really an initiative that was very important to Jay. And he made that happen. He actually came out to the tent yesterday and spent about 45 minutes just talking with and sharing his story and really had a tremendous impact on them. It's really uh, great that the patients can come out and enjoy golf and feel comfortable and not fe and feel included, which is really important. Inclusion. Thank yeah. you so much, Lynn, Thank for you. joining us Thanks this for morning. Me. Uh, just a, a little bit of the efforts that are going on here to help ALS throughout the Travelers Championship. Again, the first round tees off at 7 o'clock this morning. I'm just now starting to see the sun through the fog, so we know it is indeed there, although we haven't seen too much much of it yet here next to the river in Cromwell, but I'm sure it'll be out soon. We're live at the Travelers Championship this morning with the early warning weather tracker, Kim Lucy, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.